Hey guys, it's GameStack Hunter, and welcome to another video. Um, I haven't really been doing much garage sailing, so I'm, I'm kind of working on other things. Um, I've actually uh, built a new PC just recently. Um, I got it on a trade on Craigslist, some of the parts, and then I added some stuff, so that's kind of cool. So I might actually show that to you guys. Um, so I got a couple trades on Leap Trade, and let me tell you my thoughts and my opinions on Leap Trade. Um, I think Leap Trade is uh, it's a pretty cool concept, but one thing that I think is really, really lacking is that they don't let you list the disc quality or put a description. So, let's say you list a game, you have a choice of either disc, disc in case, or disc in case and manual, and that's it. So, you don't know if you're going to get like a scratched up disc. All games are supposed to be playable. So... If you're the kind of person who's picky and wants a mint disc, there's no way of knowing what you're going to get, and it's a gamble, and probably not going to get one. So, that's kind of a bummer, but, you know, the good thing is, is if you're going for either Wii U, or um, PlayStation 4, or Xbox One, they're all Blu-ray coded, and your chances of getting a scratched disc are actually like 1 in 100, so... You actually fare well if you stick to the newer generation consoles. But if you want to grab something off of, you know, like a 360 game, uh, PS3s are Blu-ray coded as well, so you don't have to worry about them. But if you want an Xbox 360 game, or an original Wii, or a GameCube, or a PlayStation 2 game, or something like that, it's, it's just a big gamble. Um, one thing that I thought was kind of cool, which it doesn't seem like it's really caught on, is they do have the retro carts on there. So, um, you know, you can potentially trade some uh, retro stuff. And then I also looked at 99 Gamers, and 99 Gamers looks really nice. Um, you can tell the disc quality and everything like that. And I went through, I haven't done a trade on it. I'm planning on doing that. Um, but the one thing about 99 Gamers is people can choose the value of the game. It's basically like coin-based. A coin is like a dollar, and they get to choose what they want. There's, it's not set. In Leap Trade, it's set. You get a set price for the game regardless of anything else. So I thought that was fairly cool. So the first thing I did is I had um, Lego Super Mario Heroes for Xbox One. And they want, for some reason they were giving more for that game than they did on the PlayStation. They were giving like $27.50 or something like that. And, um, and then they were selling the PlayStation 4 version for like $2.50 less. So the first trade that I did was I traded in Marvel Super Heroes for the Xbox One for the PlayStation 4. And... You know, once again, I mean, it's clear I do like Sony, but I don't really like Sony better than Microsoft Xbox, but just for some reason, the X, the, the PlayStation 4 is doing better graphic-wise, and um, it's, a, it's a little bit more stable in my opinion. I've had a lot of issues playing with my Xbox, so I prefer to have the games that I like, um, and I'm going to, once again, just stick with exclusives for the Xbox One, like I kind of do with the 360. But the first game that I got was uh, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Now, what happens is they say they'll give you like $27.50 for the game. And then, um, once someone says they'll trade, you confirm, and then you print the label. And then you stick it in the mail, and then you ship it. And um, basically what happens is the game goes to them. Once they receive it, as soon as they give you feedback, if it's good, then you have your credit. At least that's for the first couple games. Now, they have a little bit of a different trading, like an instant trade, but I haven't tried or figured out exactly what that does. But um, the first game that I got was uh, Marvel Super Heroes for PlayStation 4, and um, it is uh, complete with manual, and the disc is in mint condition, as I assumed it would be. Um, I, it's a real. This is a really, really fun game. I really don't like LEGO games for some reason. I just never really got into them. Um, but this makes me, I enjoy this one. I think it's a really fun game. So I'm kind of thinking about revisiting some of the other LEGO games as well. Um, I know I did enjoy LEGO Star Wars and I played it, but I just never felt compelled to play it all the way through. So this may be my revisit to LEGOs and switching around. Now, the next games that I got, um, I got two of them actually um, here. And I'll go ahead and I will open the first one for you. Now, I had Mario Kart, and I got like seventeen fifty for it, and then I traded in. I really can't remember what the other game was that I traded in, but I had about thirty dollars worth of credit, and I, that's how I got these two games. These are two games that were on my list that I wanted to get. Um, I have a list of PlayStation games that I actively like want to buy and just watch them for the prices to go down. It's not really a big list because I'm pretty much close to having all the PlayStation Three games that I want. 
So the first game we got here is um, Eco and Shadow of the Colossus Collection Remastered. Now I do have this on the PlayStation um, Network, but um, I decided I wanted, I always prefer to have a physical disc. Um, and there it is, complete with manual. And then we'll check the disc condition, which is absolutely flawless, um, as expected. And generally, I have to say, I mean, ju just to kind of say this, I like the Xbox better for cons from a console perspective, especially the 360. I think that it looks cooler. I like the interface better. Um, and I've been a big fan of Microsoft for a long time. But, you know, my biggest thing is, is that I've bought so many games with the Xbox 360 and the game is just totally, totally just scratched. And I don't want to have to deal with a situation where I'm in the middle of a game and the game dies because of a scratched disc. So that's the main reason why I have a bajillion PS3 games and I have such few of the Xbox 360. Now, I do know that, you know, the reason why, I, I mean, I do collect for Xbox, and when I do get a game, I look for that mint disc, and I treat it very carefully when I'm playing the game. First thing I do is I install it onto the box. That way it doesn't use the disc as much, and there's less chance of it getting scratched. But anyways, um, this is the first game I got. This is a fantastic game. Um, I haven't really got into it and played it, but I heard it's, it's just one of the better games, the Colossus, um, Shadow of the Colossus game. I know there's some epic monster battles, you're fighting some giants, and it's just supposed to be really cool. So I'm, I'm definitely going, I've watched, you know, some of the, some of the reviews on it, and I'm definitely looking forward to playing this. Someday, hopefully. Alright, so the next one, we got here. Now, this game, um, seems like it's going to be super cool. Well, someone left me, they put a little paper in here. Something about rebates. I guess this guy is trying to promote his little business through trades. Um, so the next game I got is Kingdom of Amular The Reckoning. Now, I think this game was like $15 or something like that. And um, you're a knight running around and there's some magic and dragons and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, it looks like a really fun game from what I looked at. Um, and it is uh, complete with manual. Well, at least it's got the paper. Um, but it, I think this guy said it didn't have the manual, so um, I'm not sure if this... Yeah, this is the manual, so I don't know what the deal was. I guess maybe he just mis, mismarked it. But um, that works for me. Let me check the disc. And once again, we have a flawless disc. So um, this is one of the games that's definitely on my list to play. It looks pretty epic. Um, the graphics look fantastic, and there's some pretty like cool-looking dragons in there from what I've seen. So um, although I, I haven't played it, you know, I've watched enough reviews to know that a lot of people recommend this game, and this game as well. Um, so definitely give these games a shot. Um, and then I'll, once I finally play them, I'm going to do a lot of gameplays this winter, and I'll actually try to give you guys my actual opinion of the game after I've played it. And then I have played this game, and if you like Legos, I think this is fantastic. Uh, I think I'm going to look forward to getting, uh, maybe trying the Lego Hobbit and Lord of the Rings next, maybe. Uh, if you guys have played those, tell me what you think about them. Anyways, so this is just my little uh, Leap Trade thoughts, what I got video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and let me know that you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe because you're going to miss out if you don't. And thanks, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys again here pretty soon.